Okay, that was weird. I'm very sorry about that. I, uh, that, that locked up my computer to the point where it wouldn't even respond to anything. That was very weird. I am very sorry about that. We're going to try and make sure that doesn't happen again. It just locked up everything. Okay. So we got some ground to cover again. Good. God darn it. I'm going to do this again. Let's try this one more time. This is, game's pretty old. It's not that old where I should have to worry about that. Okay. Okay. Again, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I, I don't know what that was. Um, I've played this game a couple times on my computer, and I've never had that problem happen, so forgive me. Let's see if we can just pick up where we left off. I know we're going to be a little bit off, but whatever. Man. But yeah, that was, that was kind of weird. Ugh. I wish I could skip that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's make sure. Tell you what, I'm gonna drop that down just just to be safe. I don't think that's it. I mean, again, like when I when I've played this game before on on max settings, uh, it did nothing to my my machine, so I don't think that's it. But just to be safe. Did it actually save my audio settings? I hope it did. It did. You know what? Let's just drop everything down to 10. That way I don't have to fight against anything going on. It does mean that there's going to be, you know, fewer scary things happening that I can't, you know, whatever. But at the same time, I've also been hearing and seeing, um, what are you going to it? Oh, can I kind of skip this. Oh, and my subtitles are missing. God darn it. Oh, they're not. Okay. There's just no laughing. All right. There we go. Come on, man. Uh, can I skip this? And if this crashes again, I'm, I'm, I don't know what we're gonna do tonight, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna be happy. I'll tell you that much. Oh man. So, as I was saying, uh, I find Dead Space Two of of the of the first two. I think Dead Space Two is scarier. Dead Space Three is a lot of fun. Um, but I find horror games are funner, I say funner, more scary when you're alone. I don't like, um, no if you play a, a horror game with somebody else, it actually takes the fear out of it because, again, you have someone to kind of pull you out of the experience, you know? And as much as I love Dead Space 3, and I, I'm going to be a little bit blasphemous here to a lot of people that love this series, I think Dead Space 3 was probably the best. I like Dead Space 3. Now... I think that it's kind of in a different league for one and two, uh, but I still like Dead Space Three probably the most out of the out of all of them. Uh, there's just a lot of cool stuff in Dead Space Three. Isaac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. leave me alone. For what we did to you. Well, that sucks for y'all. Clock. Isaac Clock, is that you? Who are you? Stay up. Uh, now we are playing on zealot mode, which means I got to be very careful with my ammunition. Come on. I gotta be careful with my ammunition. I gotta be careful with my health. So this is gonna be probably me dying a lot. But I'm hoping with my my myriad of experience playing Dead Space One, Two, and Three, I'll be able to do all right. Now the thing, the, another reason why I chose Dead Space Two is that there's lots of little parts in Dead Space Two that scare me more than Dead Space One. Um, there's a lot more creepy stuff in Dead Space 2 than there is in Dead Space 1. And Dead Space 1's really creepy. Um, yeah, you got me last time with that one. Haha, -ha, no locking up this time. Where is it? Is it... Oh, there we go. 
TBS report 1418. TBS the report. The realization that the popsicle sticks were being constructed into marker-like miniatures for over a year has led to a search of the unit for any other such phenomena. It appears widespread. With marker forms being made out of medication bottles, hypodermic needles, and even toiletry items like nail clippers and tweezers. The research teams have all been notified. I don't remember when the necromorphs actually come out, come at me. Don't remember when that happens. I know it's soon. Lovely. Oof. Oh, more ventilation shafts. I remember this part. Crawling through the. Sh I mean, this is actually really spacious for like a little. Oh, sorry, not really a ventilation shaft. This is a uh, maintenance hatch. This is very spacious for like a maintenance. Oh, jeez. And that's how they get around very quickly and awfully. And I'm going to crawl through the same places they do. Now, I also know that. Uh, so, one of the things that I never really paid much attention to was the lore discrepancies between 1, 2, and 3. Um, my under. Oh, jeez. That boy did. Isaac, what happened? Are you alive? Right? I like how he just grabbed that and boom, it's his. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. Oh, God. I remember this part. Oh, where are they coming from? Mm. Oh, snap, 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 Where are you? There you are. All right, lead, 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 lead. Bam! Come here. Gotcha. Is that it? Just two? I don't believe you, game. There's never just two. No, give me the money. God dang, give me the money. I guess there is just two. All right. Yeah, I also wanted to. Sh I wanted to be have enemies that I could shoot at. I've been playing games all month where I can't kill the things trying to kill me, which is definitely horrifying, but uh, I'd rather be able to shoot back. Oh, okay. Alright, so like, uh, I know that in the first game, the way they describe the markers versus the, the second game are not the same. Like, oh, da, 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 where? Oh god! Where? Where? No, 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 no! Come here! Crap, 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 crap. Gotcha. Oh crap, I'm out, of, I'm out of things to shoot. Come here. Got him. Oh, okay, okay. I need something to hit him with. Uh, I need a thing. I need a thing that I can hit him with. Bam! There. Buys me time. Buys me time. Where's a freaking thing I can hit him with? God dang it, where's something I can hit him? Oh my god, where the hell is something I can hit this guy with? Okay, here we go. Here you go, bud. Take it. There you go. Take your medicine. Dr. So-and-so. Perfect. Ugh. Until I get weapons and health. This is a lot more stressful, stressful than I thought it was going to be. Plus the fact that I'm on zealot mode, which makes this even harder. Ah, oh, the music too. Oh, so how are we doing tonight, guys? Hopefully we're doing well. Hopefully we're all doing fantastic. Hopefully life is grand. I thought there was another guy that I... Yeah, there he is. No, that's not him. Shut up. I'm not getting out of here. You know that. I know that. Let's see here. There's a third guy in here, right? I shot three. Uh, one. What up, sniper? How are you this fine, fine evening?
fantastic. That is exactly what I hope to hear. Here we are playing some Dead Space. Finally getting to kill some things that try to kill me. It's wonderful. It definitely definitely makes me feel better after a whole month of playing games where I can't fight back. Alright, you're dead. Oh, yeah? Probably. I haven't played lots of games, so that's a real possibility. Are you alive? No, you're dead. And your head is now gone. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, his chest is open? Yeah, no, this man's dead. Like, you, calm down. You, e e even if he wasn't about to be killed, his chest is open. Where is he going to go? Oh, oh, God. Come here. Should be one more. There he is. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. What, 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 what are you doing? What, what is... What the hell was that? All of a sudden, my, my cursor started getting pulled to the left. Give me that. Give me that sweet, sweet money that you have jammed in your booty hole. Or not money. That was ammo. And I'm going to kill you in a second, too, so don't you worry, sir. I'm going to put you out of my misery. But first, I got to pick up all the ammo. Uh, let's see. Can I, can, I, can I kill you without wasting ammo? There we go. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't work. Let's try this again. Jeez, okay. What the hell? Fine. I'm not going to waste any more ammo on him. I was just hoping to get free stuff off of him real quick. I wasn't looking to actually burn ammunition on him. And ammun oh, I have to. God dang it. Oh, now he dies. What? Die. Okay. Uh, you're not... You're not an undead necromorph. Isaac, it's Dana. You have to dismember the creatures to stop them. I know. I've had a lot of practice. Okay. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, so Dead Space Two, I always thought was a is just is just, is just it was just a much better game in in so many aspects. Dead Space One brought up a lot of cool stuff, a, a lot of cool concepts, and in my opinion, like a really good idea very creepy third person game dead space 2 i think took a lot of the, the stuff that was kind of hit missed in dead space 1 and brought it to life uh, dead space 3 i think took the stuff that they added in dead space 2 and made it better the only thing that i would say that they they, they did it uh wrong in dead space 3 and i wouldn't even say wrong is I think Dead Space 3 didn't get enough development time. That's, that's really what it comes down to. And I think that they added a lot of really good quality of life things in the game. Especially customizing your own weapons. Oh my god, that was fantastic. I've, I've basically run the game probably more than four times on Dead Space 3. And just used, like, well, different weapons every time. Oh, shit! Jesus, scared the crap out of it. Even, like, I'm on, like, what? Volume level 10? Crap! Crap! Run, 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 run! run. Alright, pick it up. Boom! Pick it up again. Boom! Pick it up again. Boom! You're gonna die, son. Come here. Crawl harder. Ow, that hurt. 
Give me that money. Okay. All right. Now let's go looking for some more ammo. Sweet succulent ammo. What's my ammo looking like right now? 13 shots total. I don't got many. I got 10, 10 here and then three extra. It's not, not a great thing. Or is that how that works? I forget exactly how that works. Mmm, creepy violins. But I'm not gonna lie, it feels fantastic to be able to shoot enemies again. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. Oh yeah, if you haven't figured out how to reload, that's how you do it. Well then. Alright, here we go. So now I remember correctly, we're on a space station? Yes, we are. We're on a space station. Now, another thing. See, now I'm kind of getting in the zone. I don't like that. If I get in the zone, I'll stop talking. When I stop talking, that means that I'm going to get spooked. So I got to keep talking. Got to keep talking. Because once I get spooked, it's all over, guys. But yeah, th th there are there are pieces of this game that get like really really dark really really fast. Here we go, here we go, here we go, go, go. Remember what happens now? Actually, let's turn the uh, the speaking up just a smidge. Let's do like the 15. Route didn't work. There's a security lockdown. I told you to hurry. How, how many shots do I have? I don't need your help. Fine. Let's see how long you last. I got more than enough. Oh, here they come. Here they come, boys. Throw a book at him. Get him. Now give me that. I don't care if I missed! Get him! Reload! Okay, come on, come on. I got one more. Here we go. Come here! I will impale you with your own hands. And you will thank me for the experience. Are you kidding me? I would try to get as many friends as I could in a situation like this. So we don't have to be friends, really? You think I'm trying to make more enemies right now? Bruh, come on, get with the program. Wait, hold on, what did I miss? Oh, power node, got it. Ah, power nodes. We're gonna need more of those. Ooh, text log. Okay. Time for a drink. Uh, anxiety spike. Attention reception desk. Please refer all registrants complaining of anxiety and or psychological problems to the other hospitals in the area. We are booked and running low on mood elevating uh, medications. With the recent CEC layoffs and the increased tensions between unitologists, I mean Scientologists and EarthGov, I thought that was enough of a sp uh, I thought that was enough of a spike in cases. The new wave is something entirely different. Dr. Brian's Brian Alper's Department of Psychology. We all know psychology is just a made up thing. You can have a doctorate in anything these days. Jeez. It's like anime blood over there. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, a safe spot. So I think I'm safe here.
All right. We made it this far, guys. Good stream, good stream. All right, now we're done. No, I'm kidding. Ooh. Oh, this is my stasis module. Oh, yeah, stasis. Give me some of that sweet, sweet stasis. There we go. And... Boom, Bob's your uncle. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, got it! Yeah. Ooh, text log, okay. Maintenance report 384-003. Stasis bed 00056784. Replace tachyon unit, degaussed emitter array, calibrated Heisenberg forks, bunch of mumbo jumbo. Induction coils still not firing in sequence. Testing for shattered matrix. Called in to dispatch to cancel next appointment. This may take all day. Well, a stasis module, that sounds like it's an important thing. Personally, I would probably outfit, uh, I'd probably outfit the entire station to, uh, to have some kind of stasis module on it, especially for entrances and exits. Preferably one that's permanent. Oh, that guy's, oh, that guy's covered in something. That doesn't sound good or look good at all. I'm gonna beat you with your own leg. Oh, jeez! I did not realize I could pull them towards me and they hurt me. Grr jeez, kill him. Dang. Oh, man, zealot mode takes a lot more hits to kill these buggers. Which that makes sense. It's supposed to be a harder difficulty setting. Now, the plasma cutter. Definitely one of my favorite weapons, but still. Uh, we're, we are going to be using a couple different weapons. I mean, personally, as, as as a true zealot would be, I prefer the good old flash, flash and, <clears throat> fashion flamethrower. I mean, you can't go wrong with burning things alive. I mean, we are playing zealot mode. What what kind of what kind of playthrough would it be if I didn't try to burn things alive? Well, they're not really alive, I guess, but... Bee-boo, bee-boo, bee-boo. Oh, I'm burning lots of things lab. Good evening, Fokker. Welcome to the stream, sir. You you missed... I guess everybody did. Oh, I'm doing it. Isaac. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I would shoot the living crap out of her. Have you ever have you ever played this game? Oh, very good. So the I find the intro to two the spookiest and like the best. All right, so secrecy. Chairman Donovan, this is Dr. Brooks. I've said this many times and I'll say it again. I don't like the secrecy behind the new labs they've installed in the psych wing. It's been three years and we don't have the faintest clue what's going on. Such secrecy has no place in an open and free society. Their networks are so isolated that we can't even tell they have one, let alone sift through it enough through it to see if anything unethical is taking place right under our noses. If we don't get some traction on this soon, I'm going to go to Tideman and insist on a formal review of these policies. Brooks out. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to go out. Now, all right, so one of the things that makes me say that Dead Space 2 of the group, of, of the trilogy, is probably the spookiest is because unlike in Dead Space 1 where you're just on a ship full of adults, there are children here. And holy crap, this is one of the few games out there that does not hold back at all. There's lots of implications and outright just direct telling you what happened to children on this station. It's horrifying. 
It's disgusting. And it, it, it genuinely, like, every time I do it, it actually freaks me out. It gets me upset a little bit. Um, I know what space is the... Okay, I know you're not... You're not dead. Um, you're not dead. Oh, you are dead. Oh, God. Oh, I remember this part. No, 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 no! This is a terrible system. <laughs> Could you imagine a security system where it's like, hey, explosive decompression, shoot this thing to make it stop? <laughs> oh my god, that'd be, be awful. That'd just be awful. You aren't dead. Who's next? Alright, nope. Nobody's next. Let's pick up my money and run. Oh, by the way, I just want to... That's right. Just the most power... Look, the Doom guy has nothing on Isaac's foot, okay? Doom guy is a simple, simple being comparatively to Isaac. Now, how much do these cost again? Uh, I think they're f actually they're I think they're free. So let's see here. Uh, Earth Gov suit. You know what? Should should we should we do classic? That's a thousand. I've got ten thousand dollars. Hmm. Hmm. The agility, reload speed minus five for spent. For spent. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, secondary fire damage to ten percent. Replenish this. This you know. Let's think about this. Um, I kind of want to do a classic playthrough, but I do like some of the suits are really cool. Let's do that one. I, I, I don't even remember what the actual bonuses are for this one. Ah, Isaac's suit. Oh, man. Ah, the classic. See, at least in the first one, as you as you uh, gained more stuff, like you got more of those little rib cage things. I don't know what those would be called. I have no idea what you'd call those. Yes, the blue lights of death. Let's see here. Make a soul. That's right. That is right. I actually don't remember what this <laughs> the suit's actual special abilities are. So. uh... Hold on, can I can I look at it in my rig? Uh, no, I can't. Crap. Oh god, dang it! Which suit am I even in? I forget. Oh crap! All right, hold on. Yeah, the make us whole thing, man. You want to talk about a catchphrase that really like? When you hear it, you just kind of I get like shivers down my spine. Like that's it, that's it exactly. I'm just like oh. That's unsettling. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, line gun, detonator, contact beam, receive 5% damage. Actually, you know what? I actually, I'm on zealot mode. I actually probably do need to min-max a few things here. So let's make sure we get everything we need to be here. Uh, seeker rifle, pulse rifle, get a 5% damage bonus. And then when you need earth gov... I might want to switch to that, actually. I don't care about the Seeker Rifle, but I am a Pulse Rifle fanatic, so... After all, I will be, you know, butchering things left and right. I do enjoy the classic suit, but I am, again, I'm playing on Zealot Mode. I've never played this game on Zealot Mode, and I've been surprised how much they like to get killed. Oh, look at that. Tan camouflage in space. They're never going to see me coming, literally. Yeah, desert camo in space. Who feels tactical as F? This guy does. 
Now, normally you'd have to actually buy all this crap, but I think I have. I think I think this unlocks once you've beaten the game. So I want that, and then was it the seeker rifle, and then something else? But we're not gonna worry about this right now. By the way, what, what did my other suit do? What did that do? That's the heavy. No, that's not it. Where's the other one? Engineering suit. Where's the other engineering suit? What the hell? Where's the other engineering suit? Oh, it's over here. Uh, the forged engineering suit. Uh, so that's just a med pack bonus. Okay. But that that's not bad. Now, of course, like everything else, we need... Uh, ooh, a, de ooh, a detonator. Um, absolutely, yes. And then we need... The contact beam. I could do the seeker rifle. But my gut tells me the javelin gun or the line gun. That's that's what it that's what my gut's telling me. Ah, oh, but no flamethrower. Oh, okay, flamethrower. I forgot about the flamethrower. How could I ever forget about the flamethrower? Mm, until I get more ammunition or at least more money to buy more ammunition. I th I think the best option is gonna be the javelin gun. Why you ask? Well, well, sir, I am so glad you asked. Uh, the javelin gun, not that. I don't want that. The javelin gun is a gun truly, truly that only the cultured would ever use. Uh, some people like to dismember their enemies one by one. Personally, I like to shoot them with giant spikes and paling them. Oh, hold on, is it, is it still electrification or is it explosion? I can't remember which. Yes, yeah, so the, and then and then make them dance around for me. That's personally where I stand. Ah, yes. Now, if you hear closely, you can hear the sound of my boots just smacking on the ground. I gotta watch out. These they like they like to hide stuff in the corners. But that's another thing. It's a, it's a small attention to detail. There's no sound out here except for the beeping on my suit and my feet. There's nothing out here. And man, Dead Space 3... Dead Space 3. Dead Space 3's opening scenario. Oh my god, I love it. Look at that. Look at that. Tan rifle, tan suit. Now we're going to need this, though. I ain't getting off of that. Oh, big boy. Here we go. Oh, got him. Get him again. Get him again. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm out of my stasis. Run, 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 run. I forget. Oh, my God. I'm out of my stasis. I'm going to die. Jeez, I'm going to die. Good God. Oh my God, he's right behind me, isn't he? Jeez. Boy, does not mess around. I am going to die. And it wouldn't let me reload my freaking stasis module. There we go. Thank you. All right, now do it. Bam. Reload. Running, 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 running. I'm not a coward. I'm simply biding my time. Now we're turn around. Stasis. Boom. Okay, that didn't work. We are, uh, so my detonator rifle doesn't work. Please not like that. Oh my god. I am, I am doing a tactical withdrawal. It's not a running away. It's a tactical withdrawal. Oh crap, I missed. They yeah, asked three good hits, so I'll take it. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my gosh. Nope, I'm dead. Yep, yeah, I'm dead. Oh, god dang it. Oh, man, that, that boy, that boy takes some hits. All right, let's see if I can grab that. Nope. Can I grab something else? Grab the ammo? Nope. There we go. Jeez. All right, that detonator rifle is useless to me here. Absolutely useless to me. All right, I need to grab all this stuff again. See, and this is how you know I would already be dead during a zombie apocalypse. 
See that I wouldn't I would see the, one of the big problems right there is that my stasis module was not loaded up. That was my first problem. I also think I'm supposed to be playing with a um, what you call it a a save file that had already beaten like that had already beaten it on hard, and I didn't do that because I don't have one. So little things. Nope. Oh my god, I missed twice. Go, 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 go. Crap, missed. Oh my god. <laughs> well, he did hit me with something, but he didn't actually do any damage, so that's always nice. Oh my god, go, 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 go. I wait for him to hit the ground. All right, now turn, fire. Run. Oh my gosh, I don't remember my stasis being, actually no, I take it back. In Dead Space 3, my stasis is horrendously powerful because I have it leveled up all the way, because that makes sense. Though I very seldom, oh, god dang it. Getting it! Jeez. This is pretty awful, guys. I'm not going to lie. I do not have a good weapon set up for this either. Run, 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 run. Turn fire. Got him. Now, freaking waddle like a little bee you are. Come on, cry for me. I want to hear you squeal. Tell me how much pain you're in. This is for all the times I died in soma and amnesia. Come on, piggy. Squeal. You're still not dead. Oh god dang it. Jesus, that thing was angry. Dana, I'm out of the hospital. Okay. The tram station is just beyond the apartment block. I know. I need more <sighs> <sighs> Okay. How long have I been? Jeez, that was a lot more intense than I thought it was gonna be. Tidman found you floating in space near Aegis 7 and brought you here for study. Why oh my gosh. The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tyvon tried to keep it in check with memory suppressors. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. I like how uh, dementia is killing me, yet... Um, can I go back and save? I think I can. Dementia's killing me, but if they just block my memory from having dementia... Okay, no, I don't want to go that way. Never mind. Then it'll stop. It's a very weird process there. Spooky. But it's okay, I'm in my, I'm in my military suit. I'm safe. I bet it was made by the highest bidder, too. Oh, this is just lights, that's not stuff. Ah, uh, this is reminiscent of the first place you go to in Dead Space 1. Uh, let's take a look here. All the darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, something, something, you again. There's an access panel right here. I'm gonna go through it like a crazy person. And I hope... I don't run into anything that's still breathing. Okay. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Audio log. Listen up. This is Sorensen from CEC. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God dang it. I didn't mean to do that at all. Uh. 
Listen up. This is Soren's of CEC. Cut off their limbs. It's the only way they go down. It's their limbs. That's the secret. Comms are down. We can't get a broadcast out, so tell everyone you see. Oops. See, that's that's probably information you, you need to know beforehand. All right, let's see what we got here. Now, what do we have in inventory? Well, first off, let's go ahead and let's sell that. Yeah, I don't want that. I need more, pul uh, not pulse gun, I need more plasma cutter ammo. I need more pulse rifle ammo. Ooh, contact me. Ooh, javelin spears. Only two? Oh, god damn. I'm buying them two at a time. Jeez, that's just... And how much is that? $400? Or 400 credits things? Okay, what else we got? Uh, let's see here. The line gun. I love the line gun, too, but... I mean, there's only so many weapons of mass mayhem and destruction and dismemberment that I can use at any given time. Alright, let's see here. Line gun, 11 shots, detonator. The detonator is, it's like a mine layer, right? I forget. Oh, no, 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 sorry, I, I, it's, yeah, it's a, dis, it's a mine that I need to put down. Okay, so it's a, it's a good um, aggro weapon. Gonna be good for all that stuff. So let's see, rig. I got five power nodes. Definitely want more or that. And stasis, duration, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Plasma cutter, definitely want damage and capacity, and that'll be good for right now. I think everything else is I'm, I'm pretty much set on for everything else right now. Yeah. Now, uh, one thing I did not do that I definitely need to do is get some health. But, anyway, as I was saying, uh, like, what, 20 minutes ago? Uh, I, I think that this is probably one of the strongest, say one of the strongest, there's only three of them. I think that Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3 are probably my favorites. Dead Space 3 being definitely my favorite. I think that Dead Space 3 did a lot of stuff really well. I know that a lot of people hated it, and I never understood that at all. Dead Space 3 had a lot of problems, and we're gonna play it. Uh, and I'm gonna stream the whole thing, and I'm gonna probably go through Oh, hello. I'm probably going to go through the whole reason why I like it and what's good about it. But, um... Yeah, evac point. It'd be like the alien resurrection evac points. Yeah, good luck. Attention. This is Director Tightman. A stationwide emergency is in effect. Definitely want that. I am declaring martial law. Looters will be shot on sight. We'll be too busy hunting down lots of other people, though, so don't worry about it. All right, there we go. Oh, text log. Here we go. Titan Station Quarterly Economic Report. Classified. Authorized persons only. Do not forward. Titan Station unemployment grew unexpectedly to 9.5% due to collateral job losses from the ongoing collapse of local planet-cracking business. Jeez, that sucks. Oop, oh, what the hell? There we go. The aftermath of the Ishimura incident continues to depress all planet-cracking activity as more and more support services go out of business, leaving less and less capacity for planet-cracking. That makes no sense to me, but okay. However, Titan Station continues to post a small profit, buoyed solely by the cash influx from EarthGov's Earth Gov scientific research and operations facilities. Human Needs and Services Organization has been spared the brunt of the planet-cracking collapse by the pickup in traffic with the government sector. Planet Cracker Docks, ship services, mining supplies, and tool vendors continue to post heavy losses. However, the CEC itself has found moderate new life for its facility in the R&D department of the government. Yeah, the government is uh, definitely not the bad guy in this game. Not at all. Alright, so we just got a big influx of cash. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go deal with that. See, I... If if your whole if your whole shtick is resources, I can't imagine at all why you would ever care about something like the Ishimura. As a matter of fact, it, to me, it would be like the uh, it would be this this universe's Mandalay Bay, 
they just wouldn't care and they would cover it up as fast as possible especially with the amount of money they'd be making off of it absolutely not uh hold on where did all, where did all the ammunition go oh it's uh, okay I thought this is mine for a second oh my god it's too early to be this tired it's not cool all right so let's see if i can get some more ammo oh, let's get some more health wait a minute that's right i can just sell that there we go there's my extra money there it is now let's see, how much is a power node? 10,000, I am only short by like 5,400 and something. And I really don't think I need that many detonator mines. I'm not gonna be using it all that much, uh, but I am gonna need more of those. And let's, yeah, let's keep it at that for right now. So how much, how much ammunition do I have? I have 200 rounds of that, 36 rounds of that, five rounds of, of uh, mines, and then 13 giant spears that also electrocute people in, a, in the fun way, in the titillating way. Alright. Power node, perfect. Oh, that lady's dead. Oh, jeez, they died. Holy crap. I don't remember them doing that. Alright, I don't remember them dodging in the first game. Or the first time I played it. Oh god, kill it! Kill it! Gotcha! You better be dead. Gotcha. Oh, those little guys suck. I hate them so much. Oh, jeez, this is the living quarters. It's the living quarters chat. I hate this place. This place gives me the willies. Hate it so much. Uh, I say this with a smile on my face. Because I have guns! Oh, yeah, I have a special. I think I was like a special plasma gunner. This is why we have guns, chat. Lots and lots of guns, preferably with high explosive ammunition. You're dead, sir. Look at him. Isaac! Isaac, over here! I like how he's just hanging out. Who are you? It's the drugs, Isaac. They gave us drugs to make us forget. But it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac! Isaac, look out! What? Oh, jeez. Oh, God, I don't know! No, no! Die. I hate those things. Those are even worse. F fumble around. Don't freaking charge me. Jeez. Man, the ambiance here of just the screams and the chaos and the pan. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. At least now I can tear them apart in two hits. I should be thankful for that, I guess. Oh man, okay. Okay. Whew. That's right, apartments. Get him, get him, get him! Die! Aww. Pictures of the family. Ugh. Now you're dead. I'm gonna burn through so much ammunition like that. Eesh. Ugh. So, Fokker, which one? Which one is your favorite? Which which uh, which dead space do you think is your favorite? Oh, jeez. That guy's dead. Well, he was dead before, but now he's really dead. Do you hear that? Do you hear that, everybody? Ah, 
What is your favorite dead space? And does everybody hear that? Do you know what that sound is? Do you know what that sound is? I, I, want, I want to give everybody the opportunity to tell me what that sound is. That sound is something horrifying. Because I'm, I'm going to give everybody like another 20 seconds to figure this out. Because when I tell you, it'll, I mean, just absolutely horrifying of what this is. Alright, I think we didn't have enough time. So, what that is, what's that, what's in there, is a child. A baby. Probably. But I know it's a child. It may not be a toddler, but it's a child. It's, it's a child. Why do I know that? Why do I know that? Because what would fit in there and make these screeching horrible noises? Well, let's think about it. Mommy or daddy sees babies turning don't have the guts to just smash the baby's head, not that it would make much of a difference, and so they toss it into the washer or the dryer and turn it on. Bam. How freaking horrifying is this? Just, god dang, man. Like, how dark, oh jeez. Oh, I love that, I love the light from the, oh jeez. Come here. Oh, I got plans for you, buddy. Come here. You come here. Gotcha. I ain't done with you yet. Don't want to die, huh? Shit! Shit! Oh, God! Oh crap! Oh! Oh crap, and I'm out of ammo. Okay, rifle time. She's more of them, oh my god. All right, I'm actually running low on ammunition. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, I asked you, uh, Fokker, what was your favorite Dead Space game? What is your favorite Dead Space? And by the way, you should be part of my Discord, hanging out with me, because I'm important. Really, you like the first one the best? That's a lot of people's opinion. A lot of people like the first one better than than, than the other ones. I like this one, uh, but I think third, the third is my favorite. I like the third a lot. Okay, we have... 14 rounds of this, which means we can use it for single combat, but not for groups. Groups, we are screwed. Oops. Alright, Unify... Uh, United Spacefaring Guild History Series. Titan Station Conquering a Moon. Part 1 of 2. Planet Cracking. First became feasible in the decades following... Oh, come on. Decades following the discovery of the unified field theory, which allowed us to control the gravitron in the same way, the same manner we were accustomed to controlling the electron. With the advent of large-scale applications of graviton control, it became clear that to the mining cons consortiums they had a new tool at hand. Shock point drives were in their infancy, so extrasolar mining was out of the question, and the dangers of planet cracking were still unknown. So another thing that like, doesn't really jive well is that I remember the lore for Dead Space 1 and 2 don't line up very well. Um, and then 2 and 3 line up better. Um, that not necessarily well, but better. And if markers are as abundant as they say... There are necromorphs everywhere. Is the entire sprawl infected? How this happen? The marker was destroyed, Dana. I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Yeah, that Time was the thing. A trouble. marker. On this station? Why? It's powerful alien technology. Tideman wants that power. Get to the tram. It'll take you to the Cassini Tower currency. Dana? Damn it. So, I, I want to say that in the first Dead Space game, there was only one marker that we knew of. 
and we had uh, sorry we, we had we had found one marker and we had tried to make another one and it backfired horribly and that's what caused uh, the pre-events of of Dead Space One. Like we found out what it was, we couldn't destroy it, so we buried it on some planet and didn't tell anybody. All right, you're. There we go. More ammunition. More resources for the war effort. Him in prayers. Ooh, so he's a Scientologist or was a Scientologist, I guess. And yes, I use Scientologist correctly here. Well, she's not crying anymore. So I guess that's a plus. Uh, oh, right here. Forward. Let's go ahead and save. Okay. But yeah, I think this one, this this part specifically, does a mass. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now dance for me. And that's why I like this gun. Oh, snaps. Bam! 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 Alright, somebody else is over here. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, God, I got myself. Ow, that hurt. I can't believe I missed those other shots. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I should have done was switch to my detonator and just use that. Come at me, bro. Come on at me. And that's why we have mines. Oh, more, more stuff. Yeah. Let's make sure we're all... What? Oh, got it! Well, that worked out well. <laughs> God. Oh man. See, I, I kind of don't even mind getting killed in this game because I just I I, I think it's I think I think it's kind of ruined. I think I think Soma and Amnesia they've kind of ruined the fear factor. Like I forgot about the jump scares in this game. Oh jeez, not again. That's right, buddy. You're dead. I forgot about the jump scares like that one. I, I completely forgot about that guy. But other than that, holy shit! Oh, that's right. I can't do that because this is gonna set off the mine. Here. <laughs> yeah, suck it. Imagine being the only person on a space station that wasn't consumed by some horrible monstrosity. Oh, 
realize that. Is that ammunition? Yes, it was. Come here, bud. That's right. Come here. Got you both. Last one's the charm. That's right. That's nice. It only waited until now to do it, but that's cool. I mean, better late than never, right? It's like in movies and TV shows where, like, the, the cavalry arrives, but, like, you know, obviously way later than it should have been. Oh, wow. I'm actually full up on inventory. Hmm. See, uh, rivet bolts. Well. Oh, really? Wow. Okay, let's make sure you're reloaded, reloaded, reloaded. Re oh, okay, so I have more room for you. Good. Oh, there we go. I need, so it occurs to me, I need new stuff, or new suits, or whatever. I need more, I need more space in my rig. That is what I am, I am realizing right now. I need more space in my rig. Yay! Jeez. Imagine being haunted by your dead girlfriend as she screams at you. That right there, that would tell me wherever I am. Oh crap, that's right, I need, I need my pulse. Actually, no, 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 I need this probably. Nope, nope. this right now. Actually, very seldomly use the detonator rifle, but man, that thing is useful. I mean, just if, if you if you're in a subway and one of the trains just rolls on by with all the inhabitants on fire and screaming, get out of the subway. Just just get. I mean, I, I'm not I'm not an expert, but just get out. Just don't. Just save yourself. There's nothing you can do. Just get out. Oh, wow. I'm actually so full I can't even grab those anymore. How about that? Still not enough. Jeez. Alright, so I have... The most abundant ammunition I have is for this guy. So I guess that's what we're going with. Wow. Wow. Two rounds I can't pick up. All right, med pack can't pick up. All right, let's see how we got here. And oh, by the way, by the way, if, if one of them is on fire, maybe maybe don't do what I'm about to do. I remember this part. Yeah, <laughs> and people in New York City, this may apply to you soon. You never know. Get you some. Get you some again. Where do you think you're going? How much ammo do I have? I've got uh, 93 rounds. I don't need anything right now, but jeez. My gut tells me I should keep using the pulse rifle, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out of ammo on it really soon. What's the problem with the pulse rifle? You burn through ammo like nobody's business. And 
You're only giving me line gun stuff. Come on, man. I can't work with that. All right, I need to switch to this. Oh boy, here we go. Give me some, oh crap, not again. Die. What the hell? I just wish the thing reloaded faster. But it's still a pretty devastating weapon, so. Crap, crap, crap. I remember this part. I hate this part. I hate this part so much. I'm not even going to bother. There's literally zero point. But what does matter is that. I need ammo. Alright, I'll take it. Come on, come on, come on. You're dead. Where are you coming from? Get him! Get it! Gotcha. Where is it? Oh god dang it! Well, I'm not dead yet. That's always a positive. Run, 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 run! I mean, how is this space station still standing? Right? I mean, we've had multiple explosive decompressions in here. Okay, let's make sure everything's reloaded. I think we, I think we're good on reloads. I don't have a full mag on my pulse rifle anymore, which is not great, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Man, ammo is a lot more scarce in this game, or in this version, or difficulty, whatever. I'll take the schematic. So one of the things I've never understood is that, you know, I may have slid by a bunch of uh, Xenomorphs, or not Xenomorphs, Necromorphs, but uh, they should have all come after me, I'm assuming, and they didn't, so that's kind of weird. Give me that sweet, sweet money. All right. Sweet. Give me a save point. Ah, oh, lovely. Perfect. Oh, oh, no. Guys, I don't like this part. This part makes me sad on the inside. Oh. See, th this is one part of the game that, like, it's scary. I don't like it, but it, it makes me sad. It makes me so sad. Oh crap! I heard something behind me too. Nope. Alright, fine. Uh, 
I just burned all my ammunition for that. Fantastic. Totally worth it. God dang it. I really needed that ammo, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it very soon. I just burned it on one guy. Oh no. No, guys, it's coming. No! Oh, Fucker, I hate this part of the game. Ah! Uh. When a guy asks you, do you hear the voices too? Um, if you're alone, the answer's yes. If you're not alone, the answer's no. <laughs> Ugh. And we just got, we just, we just got to the new part. Oh, I hate this part of the game. It's so unsettling. Oh my God. It's so sad. I got rivet bolts. I don't think I even have a rivet gun. No, I don't. Well, I mean, I do, but I'm not going to use it right now. Actually, a flamethrower might be a good idea for crowd control with the little ones. Oh, jeez. Well, you know, well, if you're in my, if you're in my, uh, in my Discord, you're probably always hearing me. <laughs> that might be the sound of me you're hearing. Sorry. Um, let's see here. Engineering suit. Let's see. Triage. Don't want that. Uh, let's see. Line gun. Contact beam. See, I like the old school heavy duty vintage suits, but uh, I really need something with, with that can give me more oomph. Contact beam, line gun, and detonator. It's a 5% damage boost. Flamethrower, javelin gun, and force gun. This one just does the pulse rifle and the detonator and I think something else. Oh, the seeker rifle, which I'm not using. I don't want to use it. Oh, okay. I didn't know the secondary fire did that. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I don't need this. Sell that. That's a lot of health. Uh, can I use any of it? No, I cannot. Okay. So we're going to buy some more stuff here. Definitely want more of that. Definitely want more of that. And... As much as I like the javelin gun, I don't think I'm going to really need it for this part. I think... The better option actually is the flamethrower, but I really I don't want to I don't want to use it right now. I'm not even sure how effective it's going to be against the little kids. And lucky for me, I don't have to buy all this stuff. These are zero dollars. Uh, so this is a timed energy mine. Don't want that. Um, a. Force guy, I, I, I want to say this actually is. 
I want to say that one. Hold on. Whoops. 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 Sorry, guys. I have to. I have to think about my inventory here a little bit. So sorry. Uh, let's see. I need to move. Probably the javelin gun over. And the force gun, I think, is unlimited ammo. I think, right? No, no unlimited ammo. Okay, so that's fine. I need to move this back over. Then I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use it. the force gun's fun, but I'm not gonna use it for that. What would be nice though is the flamethrower. I have my plasma cutter, which is my standard weapon. My my my. Not my crowd control weapon, which is my pulse gun. Uh, flamethrower also is really good for uh, crowd control. And a lot of damage to little guys. And then my detonator for, well, blowing things up when they run at me. Which is more for fun. <laughs> uh, hmm. I think... I think the flamethrower is definitely going to be my best bet for that. And then I need flamer fuel. And I cannot believe I bought the flamethrower. The flamethrower is fun, but uh, it's... Very limited use. But I know I'm going to be needing it soon. Um... don't like the fact that I just, I probably, yeah, I don't have much ammo left for anything now. I've got two, one reload for my freaking, ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so I need to spend some more money here. I'm going to need some more money. At the, at the very least, my plasma cutter is my most versatile weapon, so I don't want to just go in with only one reload on that. And this guy, I probably don't even need as much ammo on that but as, I, as I do have, but it's better than nothing. And now, of course, I can always shoot the, uh, the canister out for an explosive boomy boom. Got it. Nice. Nolan Stross. He was a patient in the project, just like you. Yeah? Why was he there? He's a psychopath, Isaac. Stay clear of him. He murdered his own wife and child. Okay, I'll be careful. Isn't there like an anime for this? I, I, I think I remember seeing that. Ooh, text logs. United Spacefaring Guild History Series, Titan Station, Conquering a Moon, Part 2 of 2. A large colony was established on Titan to study the moon's every seismic detail and prepare it for disassembly. Wow. As the operation got underway, the orbital platforms that assisted with the work became the prototypes for the planet crackers that would soon follow. Titan was successfully cracked and harvested only slightly behind schedule. It was a major boost for the then beleaguered population on Earth, who believed their extinction from lack of resources was imminent. Titan's harvest was halted before the entire moon was disassembled, leaving the small shard where the original colony had started. From here, the station grew in leaps and bounds as the new era of planet cracking got underway, serving as both a critical research outpost and with the advent of shock point drives, a way station for all planet cracking missions going forward. It is now whimsically known as the Sprawl for having done just that over the many years of its operation. So, the thing that's, uh, isn't that this? Awesome town, yep, it's awesome. The Clogger. All right. Levitations. Got any money, lady? Nope. I mean, honestly, I think his boots are also magnetized, so if the ground is also metal, I mean, you could argue that the most powerful weapon in this game is his stomp, because if you can turn it off and then turn it on, the magnetic link to the the floor is going to be like a double push, right? Or I guess pull. You're kicking, you're pushing down, and the boot is pulling down. Move immediately to the nearest evac route. Her hands are entirely way too big. Good lord, that those hands, man. Oh 
Okay. Altman's Footsteps, a publication for the followers of Michael Altman. We, the children of the marker, grew, grow tired of the oppressive, thinly veiled attacks from Earth uh, Earthgruff. <laughs> EarthGov on our rights to worship as we please. Reduced hours of operation for the church. Fire marshal restrictions on the size of revival events. Permits needed to distribute literature. These were all poorly concealed attempts to quash the truth. Our truth. And they will not succeed. The blasphemous, short-sighted, reckless, destructive, and hopeless path that EarthGov has us on is a dead end. One that only Unitology has the answer to. Altman has foreseen it, and we are blessed to execute it. Prepare yourselves, brothers and sisters. Convergence is nigh. I mean, I've never, I've never understood death cults. Like, this is supposed to be. A, I, mean, I wonder if even the people in the church know what it is that they're signing up for, right? Like, do they think they're gonna live to see whatever it is that they have coming to them? Like, Im imagine, imagine being a part of the church. Of sci uh, yeah, I was gonna say Scientology because that's what I want to say is Scientology. Unitology, discover your potential. Ask us how. Imagine joining the Church of, of Unitology. Hey, uh, oh, I thought you were routing me to residential. This looks like a Unitology recruitment center. Am I still on track? Yes. There's an old maintenance access point in there that'll take you through the waste disposal system and into the Cassini Towers. Stay sharp. Imagine joining the church. You know, you've been a church member most of your life. And then they say, oh, Convergence is here. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to evolve to be something newer or better or something. And then, like, if, you don't, if you're not the first one that goes, but you're, like, let's say five or six in, and you see what the hell happens here, I guess that's why in the first one they put bags over their heads, and just watch as your friends and family turn into, like, undead monsters that, you know, basically want to murder everything. I mean, I, personally, personally, I would be a little bit miffed by this. I would um, not want to be a part of it anymore. I'd be like, nope, I'm good, thank you. And they'd probably hold me down and drive one of those stakes in my heads, in my head. <laughs> Titan Station, Ch Station Church of Unitology recruiting report. Car Perry Gibbeau, vested member, Tavstitis fully paid. Recruiting has slowed markedly in the last few weeks. This is surely due to EarthGov's recent slander campaign, painting us as carpetbaggers and insurrectionists in the press. I, you know what? Uh, carpetbaggers is a like an old term, even by like the '90s standards. I wonder why they went with that word. You know, like what a weird word to use, especially in space. Whatever. Regents from the churches at Venus Wayport and the Hel Helipause Observer are shocking in later this are shocking in later this week to strategize a response. Sorry, I was reading shocking as in like it's a shocking revelation, not shocking as in they're traveling. Expect additional budget to be allocated to public relations and media to combat this trend. Also, the CEC layoffs continue to negatively affect recruiting targets. We're down almost 30% year on year. Gibbo out. But yeah, no, I would never want to travel through this place. Ever. Good God, of all the places to go through. Like, he's absolutely right. Suck it! And that's how you do it. Snaps! No, not children, no! Aw. More! God dang it, man. I, I, that part always upsets me a lot. I really don't like it. It's scary, and I, it will to me it's scary. I despise, yet it's, it's, it's how do I even describe it? It's not even, despic it's not even despising it. It just makes me so sad. And that's what makes it good. That's the sad part. It's like, the fact that they just unabashedly go, yeah, no, this is what happens. Like, what do you think happens to the children here? And I'm sure for a lot of people, like, that was a big turnoff for them. And it is for me, too. It really is. I don't like that part of the game. But when I... It makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. And that's the sad part, is that it makes lots of sense. Now... Another thing that also kind of got me, that always made me go like, what the hell, like, what, what, what was happening here? 
is the Ishimura. Like, how did you get a majority of the ship to basically be on board with with the marker stuff? And if I remember correctly, the the marker that you dig up was the original, or not the original Earth marker, the original, sorry, the first copy that Earth tries to develop their own marker technology. I want to say that's what that was, but I could be wrong. Okay. Whoever sees this, listen up. You can use Kinesis to pull blades off dead ones and shoot it back at them. Watch. Watch. Stay alive three hours using this trick. You see? Just shoot it back at them. I got clipped pretty bad earlier. So I hope this helps you out. Whoever you are. Okay, let's see here. Let's grab one of these. Uh, let's see, where is it? That way? So I want to go this way. Okay, no, no, I don't go that way. All right, cool, that works. Then I will take this spike and I will ram it right down your throat. Or I won't because there's nobody here. It's a save zone, so I'm good here. Oh, I am a bitch. Chapter 3, guys, and I don't think we're gonna, I, we might not make it much further than this. I don't know. I'm not I'm not done yet, but uh, actually, no, I, 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 geez, I actually overshot my time a little bit. At least for the weekdays, I did. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's, um, let's focus on, ah, geez, ah, geez, ah, geez, oh, I got two nodes. I don't want to do that. I want to do capacity. So yeah, because that'll, that'll, that'll actually free up space in my inventory and reduce the number of reloads I gotta do. Alright, guys. I think we are done for tonight. It is past my normal time. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I know I enjoyed playing and revisiting this this wonderful classic. I hope to see you all again, uh, hopefully sooner than Wednesday. But if not, then I'll see you on Wednesday, where we will continue playing through Dead Space Two. If I if we if I can manage to complete this soon enough, I have no idea what I'm going to do for the rest of the week. So we'll find out. Uh, but I hope you all have a wonderful night, and I will see you all again soon. Have a wonderful day, guys.